on the chip last year. Yeah. A little bit of lore for the pod. Mm-hmm. You see uh, Mike Evans? He's he's fallen to, like, round nine. Nine? Yeah, he's going deep. I mean, the Bucks right now, they got the, uh, like, the fourth worst odds to win the Super Bowl. I mean, that's just to win the Super Bowl. It doesn't account for division, but... I'm seeing Devontae Adams like late second, early third too. So crazy. Yeah, no no thanks. Staying away. Uh, for a second, yeah, I'm staying away. So if it's third round pick one, you taking Devontae Adams? Third round pick one. Um ooh, yeah. 12 man for sure. Too much value. Would you give up if it, if this was a if we did a dynasty league, would you give up a a second round pick, a a second round rookie pick for Mike Evans? Um Yeah, I probably would. You think he's worth like a Josh Downs? Would you rather have like a Josh Downs for his whole career or Mike Evans for the next four? Like the only people that really have made like a huge difference their rookie year, what like Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson. You see it more now, the receivers. Yeah, hold up. I'm about to put my Bucks jersey on. Because no teams are like running back heavy anymore. It's like you got the teams like the Titans that run 40 times a game, but they're only scoring one touchdown and a field goal. All right, I got my Brady jersey on. A jersey he never wore. So it's actually a, like a Chris Godwin jersey. Chris Godwin had to change his number. So Brady could be 12. When he went there. You take in Chris Godwin, round five, pick one? No. Six? I'm not doing that. Um, I'm staying away from Godwin. I've drafted, you know, I've I've had him enough in his career. It's time to move on. Whoa, that's unlike your draft I style. Just, I know. We'll see. I mean, PPR, he's still got value. Yeah. I mean, who would you rather the Bucks QB be? If you if you have one of those guys, would you rather Trask or Mayfield? Uh, I mean, honestly, Mayfield, like, because he's willing to take risky throws, given it's probably going to be an interception. But I mean, it's better than throwing, you know underneath passes to your running back and mm-hmm. slants to your tight end in the middle of the field. I mean, like, from a fantasy standpoint, I would definitely rather have Baker Mayfield than, you know, a fresh rookie. Have you ever pissed in your pants? Uh, I mean, I don't think I've ever pissed in my pants to where it like wasn't an accident, no. The other day my I had a pee so bad it felt like I was gonna have like a urinary tract and there's a little pee pee that came out. I did piss my pants a little bit. Hey, Yahoo finally has uh, Bijan up on these boards. Uh, every every uh, sauna mock draft I've done, I've got Bijan in like the fifth. Kind of like kind of bullshit. Like cheat myself, you know? It's it's a, it's a damn mock draft. Let's see where they got. Uh... If you don't draft well in this draft, you will not make the chip. <laughs> Hey, so they have Mike Evans as rank 73, wide receiver 24. 
So I he's mean, basically a like, Jerry Judy. Like where he's at right now, as far as like NFL cool NFL trends, it's Yahoo X rank, dude. As yeah. far as he goes, like that, like like he he had that skit where he was not scoring for like a month and a half. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, he almost put, made... putting up three touchdowns in the last game mean nothing. Yeah. That no, that means a lot. It it probably won. He probably won some chips for he some people. He battled injuries all injury? year, so I guess what your question is: Is he going to stay healthy, or is it a question of skill? Because he's definitely still got it. Yeah, I think with him, it's, it's just bold. that fucking ankle. Or it's not skill. You're right. It's definitely not skill. Yeah, it, he he gets hurt every year. It's like a hamstring yeah. or something. It's really helped with him. Like if he gets tweaked, like his ankle, like week three, like you can consider yourself fucked if he like. He's going to be done for like four weeks and then he's going to tweak it again after giving you like mm-hmm. maybe one out of two solid weeks. JJ pick one. I'm going JJ pick one in every draft I'm in this year. If I have pick one, I'm going JJ. And McCaffrey falls to three. I will take. You got McCaffrey pick three? That was <laughs> you? Nice. Yeah, I mean, I think honestly, like a clear one's. If you're going a safe route to McCaffrey, but if you're looking for that like that ceiling, I think Justin Jefferson has like a little bit higher of a fantasy ceiling with like PPR type leagues. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we'll see. I think Brock Purdy's gonna be throwing to CMC a lot more this year. But you always do have to take into account with the 49ers, like Elijah Mitchell is pretty good still too. Yeah, Elijah Mitchell. That's that's definitely a guy I'm, I'm gonna be looking for uh, in the later rounds. Every single draft. He'll be like one of those guys that he'll always be getting like eight, maybe ten if he gets a touchdown. Uh huh. But then if CMC goes down, that ceiling goes to like 25, 30, you know? Yeah. Because he's one of those guys that, you know, San Francisco, they they get those good running backs. Like they Mm -hmm. hard running running backs. Like when Raheem Moser was there, like they're just running through people like fast athletic guys yeah Raheem Moster he's like 31 now he's the uh, starting back uh over there in Miami they drafted a rookie I can't think of his name but I think he's their starting back again I think it's a split backfield between him and Jeff Wilson yeah and then that rookie for sure I think they took a guy in like the third round see where where are we at pick 12 pick 12 Nick Chubb I like that I'm big on Nick Chubb this year Stefan Diggs I don't know why every Stephon Diggs is stud, might be a Hall of Famer when it's when it's all done. I don't think I've ever drafted him in a single draft ever. Really? I don't know why. I just don't. I don't know if he's second round worthy still though. It's... Yeah. So you're coming up here. Tell me what you're thinking. I mean, if Tony Pollard falls, you have to take him, right? I mean, that's I mean, my if guy. Tony Pollard falls. I mean, I'm thinking Tony Pollard here because the way I like to draft is like a running back heavy because I don't like obviously running backs get injured frequently. So I like the option of being able to just push one mm-hmm. and out having that open flex to whatever. Did you say having the option to push one out? Is that what you said? Precisely. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to have the option to push one out. I actually pushed one out before the pod. I said I was taking a PP break. I actually I was pushing one out. Got, we got the barber. Who did the barber take? Cool. Etn. That's a good pick. It's on you. Okay, so here you got a couple good spots. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't take results. He took. Oh, he took Brees Hall. So what and I'm gonna J- do is. T- uh- I'm going to take a running back I know for sure is going to be good and then hope for a good wide take? receiver to fall for me. Kenneth here. Walker, I okay. Have, I have a pretty good pick coming up in three. so I think You I'm like Kenneth Walker even though Charbonnet just went there? Dude, Kenneth Walker is a stud. He's going to be dropping points. He's so good. All right. All right. I took... Dang, okay. I know what I want to do. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go Amon Ross St. Brown for sure. But I'm torn right now. I I want to go John Waddle, but I would have three receivers, so I have to go 
And I love T. Higgins, huge T. Higgins fan. I think that is a safe and a safe boom type pick. But mm, do I want to start three running backs. I got to go Travis Etienne. Dang, and there's this. That's a value spot right here. Like, I mean, even Najee Harris. I love I mean, Najee like, Harris. Right. Here. Yeah, like Najee Harris here could be good. But what I think I'm I'm gonna do here is because T Higgins fell. Like you were saying, I like I I that's who I was targeting yeah. with my second pick here because I was so close to each other. Like, because now yeah. I have a solid one yeah. two running back and a yeah potential wide receiver one in T Higgins. Yeah, it's like a it's a safe pick and it's like a boom. I'm I'm tempted to go like Mar Chase pick 3 in, in most of my drafts if it's a half PPR or or more type league. I think I am going Jamar Chase 103. I think he's worth at least a top 4 pick, yeah. Damien yeah, Pierce just one because like who who else would it be? It'd go what yeah. CMC CMC Justin. yeah. Um, I mean some someone might want to take a reach on like Bajan. I don't. I, I'm staying away from like Eckler top five. Still love Austin Eckler, but I, you got to think about it. It's like, like yeah, he's here. given us a whole lot of happiness over the years, but it's like now he's having trouble mm-hmm. in the locker room. He's requesting the train. They're going to retain him this year. It's yeah, like, that's tough. Least expected guy, or you know, I did not see that from right. him. Like the most easy I know. type guy. My dog. What do you think? Okay, someone just took Chris Olave, pick thirty-two. What do you? What? How does that make you feel? Like, would you spend a pick thirty-two on Chris Olave this year? No, I don't. I, I don't do think it. he's worth that. I, love, I mean, same that was, for like Cam Akers. I think he's still yeah. overvalued too, same as last year. Olave was one of my. Um. I probably took him in like three, four leagues last year. But this year, I mean, with his value going up that high, I don't think I can do it. I mean, he's going to be good with the, with Derek Carr there. I mean, yeah, Aaron Jones, 39, Derek Miles Carr, Sanders, 38. He's not like one of those elite guys, but he's a guy that like he's in the middle of the pack and you can expect like to get the at least the bare minimum, you know, like he's not yeah. going to be like shitty. He's not going to like give up or whatever. So they got so uh see, like here. So I have my two running backs and I have my oh, wide receiver one. And then so we have like an option here. We can like get a suit up tight end or we can pack our wide receiver two with somebody who's mm-hmm. also pretty decent in like a Amari Cooper or a Debo. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Yahoo has uh, Jameer Gibbs going late fourth, but they have him as RB 149. Debo goes here. I mean, I like Amari Cooper, but uh, are you reaching for Mike Evans right here? No. Huh. Can't Cam Akers just want the pick before? I think I have to go Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, okay, I like that. I really mm-hmm. don't like drafting Amari Cooper in draft. the round, though. He's like one of those guys that he's. Ooh, this get, is a tough. You know, this is a tough spot right here. It's going to get you either three or 25. Man, I don't I don't like this spot at all. Uh, we're going to have to go Joe Mixon. You know, it, they didn't draft any replacement. I mean, from, um, well, from what P. I hear, Ryan's they're, gone. They're keeping him. Yeah, and P. Ryan's gone. Uh, I could see Joe Mixon being one of those cases where he just kind of gets phased out throughout the year, though. Probably gonna, uh, man. I'm feeling. I'm just not liking the picks here. I'm, I'm going Justin Fields. Probably only because it's a mock, but I mean, just I don't know. I'm not. You're, it's, it's just it's a bunch of old dudes right now. I mean, I, I was thinking George Kittle. I like George yeah, see, Kittle right I, there, but I'm thinking George Kittle also here. Yeah. But like other options, you know, you could be like James Connors, your flex yeah. option. I do like my mix and pick. I mean, I I was thinking Montgomery, but I already have a lion. But Mixon, I know he's getting older, but I mean, they didn't they didn't draft no one to replace him. They got rid of P. P. Ryan. 
I like that right there. I... Fifty point game last year. Yeah, that's right. Against you, right? Yeah. Did you win yeah. that week? You, you know, you lost, right? Yeah, I lost that week. Right. Of course. Was that your first L? Because uh, I remember that I it was like so, no. okay, yeah. I don't know why. I kind of I've been taking uh, Ayuk a lot late in these mock drafts. I think Adam was my first loss. Adam. I got Tom Brady queued up right now. <laughs> what kind of quarterbacks are we looking at? Oh. I think David Montgomery will fall. We only have uh, three auto guys in here. I think he might. Man, what's the deal with Kamara? Why is he RB27? Kind of trash last year. Yeah. I do. I like Jamal Williams a lot this year. It, uh, Elvin Kamara's backup's always been, I mean, yeah, but I mean, sneaky value. Start, like, there's value, but it's like you're not going to be able to. It's like a throw in for a main trade, you yeah. know? I mean, Jamal Williams is a touchdown dependent back, and I mean, he's probably going to have the same. I mean, Alvin Kamara, I don't know if they're going to stick him in the goal line this year. I don't, I don't see why they would when they have Jamal Williams. I mean, and they also they, they got smart. that TCU running back, too. Yeah, it's a. Like if they're smart, they're gonna just use Camara like the scat, like he's like he normally gets his big gains off mm -hmm. of, and then use Jamal Williams as like that rushing guy yeah. who's gonna rush twelve, fourteen times a game. Next it's just weird. Time. It's really weird seeing him now as a mid seventh rounder. Yeah. Still some good value here. I mean, you have a running back one, Montgomery, James Connor. Sneaky value, perhaps, and Christian Watson. John Connor. You got Evan Ingram still available at tight end. Mark or uh, Mike Evans. Drake Mike London's Evans mid seventh man. Good too. There goes Montgomery. Wonder where Ezekiel Elliott will land. I was thinking maybe potentially back to oh, it's your pick right now. Who are we thinking? Hmm. I don't know what to think of Drake London. Like anyone so, out of Atlanta, except for based on who we have, I'm not loving Drake London in Atlanta. There's a lot of question marks in Green Bay, and I really like uh, Jacksonville this year. So I'm taking Christian Kirk. Kirk here. Yeah, that's been one of my hot guys. Drafted in these mocks, my turn. Oh, shit. Should we go Mike Evans for the thumbnail? No, we're passing on him. Um, Devontae Williams, late second. Uh, Rashad Penny. Go Rashad Penny. I think he'll be the number one guy over Swift. Um, yeah, it's pro they'll probably run the offense pretty much the same way. Jamal Williams. You know, we need a, a, a boom play here. I like Jordan Addison a lot, but we're going to go Mike Evans for the for the thumbnail. Oh. Uh, all in to the the seventh round, uh, probably a little bit higher than he should have went. Probably should have went like eighth round. But I mean, I still like Mike Evans. That's just a, a guy I'm probably not looking at too much this year. Um, I feel like my team, you know, with, with Fields, JJ, St. Brown, uh, ETN, like there's a that's a lot of points right there. So if we could just get Evans right this year, like then we got like a potential 2022 Leafs situation you know I did take Marquise Brown the fucking time was running so he out. took Marquise <laughs> yeah. Brown that's a tough one 
We'll have to see uh, Kyler Murray's uh, pod hours before I take that one. Yeah, I mean, he's just he's going to the bench. For sure. Rashad Bateman. Mm. Who would you rather have in a dynasty league, Mike Evans or Rashad Bateman? Starting like this year? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess Starting you go this Bateman, year. right? <laughs> in hopes for a higher suit. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so now it's pretty much just best available at this point. I got Jake Moody. I got him queued up. I mean, I'm I'm locked into Jake Moody. If I'm not taking a kicker, I'm not going to early like Tucker or McPherson. I'm locked into Jake Moody. Inside of 50, it's automatic. Draft results. Drake London just went. Friar Muth. Michael Thomas. Uh, over under six and a half games played, Michael Thomas this year. What are you taking? Uh, I'm taking the under. Okay. Yeah, me too. I bet you he hits six. Just for the he sake hit, of the under. He played what two games last year? I think he played more than that. Let's look it up. Oh, Kenny. Got a mock pod going on. He played three games last year, dude. Are you kidding me? Is what that what bomb. I said? Three? You said two, but close. Oh, it's Slim Pickens right now. I got one guy I think I've taken in every single uh, uh, mock pod. Cued up. Kenny, what are your thoughts on uh, taking Mike Evans in the seventh round this year? You staying away from that? You thinking more like eighth or ninth? Okay. Let me ask you this then. Okay. What about a late second rookie dynasty? Would you rather a late second pick in a dynasty, like a rookie draft, or Mike Evans? Like it, it like if it's just the rookie draft of a dynasty league, not like a startup. Would you rather a late second or Mike Evans? Okay. Still some good value. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, Evan still. I'm thinking four more years. I think he'll still be play at a high level the next two, maybe three. So for here, I'm stashing a little AJ Dillon. It might be job uh, that May guy. What's his first name? Drake May. I think that'll be their quarterback next year. All right. Um, we're going to go George Pickens. I'm extremely high on George Pickens this year. He was uh, watching him last year. Like I'm, t- I, This is my year two receiver that I need for this year. And um, we got Justin Jefferson, so definitely got to take uh, the cuff, Jordan Addison. Not big on undersized receivers, but, I mean, with the draft capital where he wants. And, uh, you know, he's going to fulfill his role to this uh, mock team. I think I'm going to dice roll on Christian Watson here. Okay. 
Just did him and Love have a, a thing going last year, or was that just with A Rod? I think it was A Rod, but yeah, he he definitely had a little hot streak there. But he would like in his games, he was catching some pretty nice contested balls. He was open a majority of the time. Did she just say I only last five seconds? Is that what she just said? Yeah, pretty on forge. Yep. Let's look at your team. AJ Dillon, okay. I like the AJ Dillon pick. Is that because you're an avid uh, Twitch viewer of AJ Dillon? Is that where you're okay, leaning in? Uh, I'm a part of the quad squad, yeah. Quad squad. Yeah, you know, I was a huge AJ Dillon fan last year. I, I don't know, I'm kind of off that train, that boat, but I like the pick, though. I mean, my, not, not... my hope is uh, for that pick, Aaron Jones is going to get hurt, and AJ Dillon yeah. is going to be. Yeah, I mean he's due to times. he's due to go down this year. He's been pretty healthy. He's, I mean, he only missed. He he always goes down, but it's always for like only like a game that, to two. He plays through injury a lot yeah. too. It's like uh, Najee Harris. I didn't even realize that uh, he's never missed a game, and like he hasn't missed a game since like it was rather like I think it was two thousand and seventeen. Or 18 in college. It's the last time he missed a game. Could have used him at Michigan. You think Tua's a plausible starter? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I don't with his weapons? like him as a QB in the, in the NFL at, you know, six foot. But with his weapons, man, I mean, it's it's a great pick. I mean, it's like him or Aaron Rodgers or Anthony Richardson. I'm definitely, of those options, I'm definitely leaning to a... I would probably lean Jared Goff over Rodgers this year. <laughs> you know, Green M&M does... I feel like it has like some late second value. I would trade all my draft picks for a bag of Green M&Ms. Okay, so who are we looking at? Okay, so I need a quarterback. We have Gino, Aaron, Jared Goff. I think Goff is a no brainer here. Goff, yeah. What? Was yeah, okay. Tua was gone? Yeah. This, this Him over a, Rogers and Richardson, I'm I'm definitely on board with Jared that. Jared Goff definitely has value. Uh, and speaking of no-brainer, uh, Alexander Madison at this point. If I could find the draft button. Oh, it's not my Oh, I'm next. Uh, Alexander Madison right here. Pick 10. Absolute no-brainer. He could end up being the starter there this I year. I still think, too. Delvin Cook might get uh, dealt. Like, uh, late in these rounds, too, we're seeing Gabe Davis fall really late. A lot yeah. of good value with Gabe Davis with how their offense runs the pass heavy shit. Yeah, he's definitely a uh, uh, awesome uh, best ball pick, Gabe Davis. Um, we're gonna have to go uh, the same style pick. We're gonna go Eli Mitchell. Him and uh Madison. Oh, my yeah, my bad. I mean, those guys could be potential RB one tier. Like if their guy goes down, or if Delvin Cook just gets dealt, then he's a automatic, you know, ten fantasy back. You think they would run Madison though as an RB one all season? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, he's probably sharing carries, but he's gonna he's probably gonna take seventy percent workload if Cook goes, which he could. He might get dealt to like the Chiefs or something, or Chargers or something. 
But um, and then Mitchell, regardless if McCaffrey stays healthy all year, it still has a lot of value. Like mm-hmm. Mitchell's probably going to see like thirty five percent of the rushes and probably some goal line touches. I'd imagine the rushes. He'll probably see about half of them to be honest. Yeah, he yeah he might. And like depending on game script, he yeah he could be more involved in in a game than McCaffrey if if that's what they're. You know, like maybe if in a game where they're up a lot. You're yeah, yeah, lot exactly. Yeah, they're actually. in it to win the the bowl, just like the Lions this year. So I mean, Mitchell, kind of giving away all my, you know, all my picks for the, for the season. But for the first time ever, I'm kind of liking uh, Devin Singletary really late. See him popping up, Quentin Johnston. Eco Collins just went. Michael Badgley just went. One uh, thirty four. Okay, Gabe Davis. It's a good pick. It's lost connection. Oh, a draft paused. It says. Think I'm in it anymore. It's a it says draft paused right now. Oh dude, there's like a five minute delay. Well I don't know if I want to wait for that. I just to give you my I mean Sam Laporta, I'm definitely looking at. Uh that that's that's one of my late picks. Him and uh uh Cole Komet. Those are my sleeper tight ends. Oh, you can get back into it. It's back, okay. I think. Yeah, it says pause. I haven't seen that happen. Oh, resume. Please. Kitty boy, get out of there. Sniffing the fucking outlet. <laughs> <laughs> Got Jake Moody and Detroit's defense queued up. I feel like every single dra- uh, live draft that we're going to be a part of this year, Lions, Lions defense is going to get taken for sure. I mean, it's self-sufficient on sacks alone. Mm-hmm. Dude, they had a stretch last year where they were a top three defense. The stretch with Aiden Hutchinson in three games having like nine sacks. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it was eight. Yeah, last year it was like, even during like, I remember asking myself during that, the Commanders game week two, I was like, is this team really fucking good or what? And then we lost all those games in a row after. And then the, the wins after were like impressive, but our record was was crappy. So it was like, you know, SOL. But then they just kept winning and it was like. Then we depended on a team to lose for the wild card. Yeah. Like, imagine if we didn't lose one of three games by two points. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, like, if we just had our team for rather the Seahawks or Patriots game. If we had just, like, if if we had the Patriots game scheduled later in the season or, like, the Seahawks game scheduled later in the season. I mean, I don't know about the Patriots. They shit on them. They did. But we were down Amon Ra. We were down Shark. Uh, we were down Swift. Probably down a few other guys too. I don't know if Okuda played in that game. But dude, they did. They <laughs> line set a record that game. Uh, it was like over fifty on uh, fourth downs, <laughs> something like that. what happened yeah so i think we're the, gonna be the only ones left if you rejoin and so it'll go real quick oh, there's uh it's it's me you and tyreek we got tyreek hill in the dra in the mock pod damn my team's actually kind of filthy right now codell gonna be nice with baltimore um 
Yeah, I, I think he will. I mean, you just look at he. He's got to be a little bit better than Rashad Bateman. And Rashad Bateman, before he got hurt last year, was putting up some serious numbers. I mean, you know, it, was, it was a small sample size. It was only like weeks one through three. But, I mean, Odell's had... Two, I mean, even the year he won the Super Bowl, he only played in like six games. Like, he hasn't played football in like three years. I, I'm pending his like physical shape, I would imagine... His last year with the Browns, though, was really bad. Chemistry, I mean, you knowing where video, to be. You saw the montage. That was a Baker issue. Yeah. Oh, Alan Lazard too. Yeah, that that's another uh Juju Schuster. Yeah. Funny, Alan Lazard's had a you know the last two years have been career years, but like his value has just remained the exact same. So much has changed for him. Like wide receiver fifty has been like his range the last three drafts. Let's see what they're saying about Zeke might return to Dallas, they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, these, these will go quick. They're just, they're just all autos. So it's on you. Odell just went. The fantasy go to Dalton Schultz. Man, I swear I'd I'd much rather have the green M M&M M over Juju Smith Schuster. I don't even want to look at that dude. I don't think I'd I'd take him in the last round. Take a little bit of Jerick McKinnon here. Derek McKinnon? Okay. Let's see. What do I need? Uh, a tight end? Oh, it just auto-drafted for me. Did it? You didn't You didn't get it in? No, I did, but it didn't work. You know, we're just going to do it. We're gonna, I'm going to take Laporta here. And then, let's see, I still got one more bench spot. We're going to take uh, uh, Devin A. Chain, the potential RB1 for the Dolphins. I don't know Ooh, too much about him, but what? pretty much strapped in his role right here. I'm taking Kick Fierce in here. Yeah. Fierce was available. That's a good pick. Yeah, all I have left is kicker and defense, so... Young Way still available. Graham Gano, Matt Gay. Hey, uh, the Yahoo Plus Draft Scout suggestion has Detroit's defense as the suggested... Uh, uh, nice. number two pick right now. Jason Mine's, Sanders being number one. Mine's Cordell Patterson. Raheem they got him as three for for mine. Michael Carter, Chuba. Did you already take a defense? Yeah, it auto drafted Washington. Oh, that's why I don't. Know. Washington's defense. Ew. Yeah. I mean, they got a good defensive front, but to talk about a that's a tough auto pick right there. Say Flowers, Cream Hunt. What's Cream Hunt's deal? Pink Bigsby. That'd be a good pick for people that get ETN. Jamie kind of holding up the mock pod right now. People's Jones.
Boston Knox in the 14th. I like that. Yeah. Is three Detroit Lions in your starting lineup? Is that too much? One being a defense? Uh, defense, St. Ron, tight end? I guess, yeah. But just know that every single touchdown that you catch, it's going to be thrown by Jared Goff, who's a Leaf. Yep. I'd be happy to meet up with, with the Leafs and the, the chip again. <laughs> or in the final I gotta, three. I got a three-peat the playoff league. That'd be crazy. Not many can go three-peat. I've seen it done before, though. Cody can go three P with pizzas. Mm-hmm. Hey, we should do nine nine nine. Oh Young shit, Kong. Jerry McKinnon's still available. <laughs> is that you got Jerick McKinnon? Nice. Hey, your boy Tyler Boyd is available still too. I I don't have any more bench picks left. Who's Joe? Joe who? Nathan, Nathan, what round would you take the green M M&M? and M? Whoa, that's what Cody said too. He asked if you'd take him in the second round. Who's first? Is first Detroit pick, Jake Moody. First pick is Lola Bunny. <laughs> I mean, if that's not everyone's first pick, like you're definitely a two thousands kid at that point. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing being born in that year? Fucking retard. Oh yeah, and we're finishing with the Boyd Cuff to the T Higgins. Nice. I mean, this is not a bad team. Send me allow- your uh email me your I have a couple double ups. I got McCaffrey and Kittle and AJ Dillon and Watson. So not too bad, I guess. Because considering uh, McCaffrey Kittle. Yeah, it looks really good. They send the email like instantly, don't they? Yeah, or as soon as the lobby closes, I think. Oh, I know why the draft paused. What's that? Uh, we were drafting during when the time turned 420. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hate taking Amari Cooper 46 pick. Yeah, I mean, I'm not hating it. I just I can't do that there. Man, that mixing pick was really tough. That third, fourth swing, that was like I mean, think about where he went the past two years, and if it's the same case for him, like yeah, yeah, you could. It is. They didn't draft nobody. Um, and they got rid of uh. Well, no, they they did take someone real late, but they got rid of P Ryan. He went to Denver. P P. That'll be uh, Ryan. Interesting year, Denver. Assuming my starters. Jared Goff, T. Higgins, Mari Cooper, Christian McCaffrey, Kenneth Walker, George Kittle, Christian Kirk, Evan McPherson, okay. and then the auto-drafted Washington defense. Yeah, that one kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. A sore cunt. <laughs> My bench, this is the most fire bench I've ever had, though. Like, sitting on the bench, I have Hollywood Brown, A.J. Dillon, Christian Watson, Gabe Davis, Jarek McKinnon, Tyler Boyd. Like, you can plug any of those guys in. Mm -hmm. Plug them. What do you think is the highest-ranked League of Legends NFL player? 
Um, is it the punter from the Vikings? Rodrigo? There was a professional league player from the Vikings. It was the one that went came from Indianapolis, right? I don't know too much about his career, but he punted for the... Uh... the goggles? No, 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 Rodrigo. Oh, that's right, Rodrigo. Um, does he play league? I thought so. Okay, I don't know. That's not who I was talking about, though. Uh, his name was like Bluey or something like that. He's been retired for uh, like collusion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>